Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to some more Justin Pride. Let us finish this game, hopefully. Woo, we're still going. Yep, we have to get to Travis. Oh, wait, he's actually labeled as Travis, not the Onyx Dragoon. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. He's also the Onyx Dragoon. Yeah, I, they label <laughs> in his description. Oh, my God. All right, let's get into this. I've already done battle preparations off screen. Let's do this. And we have, oh, we have this music playing. Honestly, oh. honestly, it's, I feel like it's fitting. Like, you, not every map in a hack has to have custom music. Oh, no, I would say that this is good. Yeah. Um, especially because it's like, it's kind of like ominous, mm -hmm. a bit somber, I guess, but also just like- Eerie. Yeah, exactly. And that's kind of what this is, like we're, we are not recruiting him, like, most likely. We're just gonna kill him. Yeah, I doubt he joins us. Let's see the tactics. Travis. Adarin, let me aid you. One last time. Many monsters will charge at you. Oh, great. You will need to be smart when attacking so that weaker units aren't left to expose. Okay, so Carmen. Once the aggressive monsters are cleared out, you can take your time approaching me. Once the enemies are gone, you can finish this. Use your strongest, most durable units and stop me. Okay, so all these fuckers are gonna charge us. Great. Okay, the mon the monsters are gonna charge us, but everybody else is gonna be pre stationary. So basically, so everyone just, but these guys. The, those. Okay, so yeah, it's like those guys don't move, all the monsters do. So I guess it's just outlast the monsters. And um, then but move in to kill those. Guys. All these fuckers have Bane right here. Like, seriously, the start. Yep. On the starting Four position, six of them. on the starting position, you're gonna have all these fuckers have Bane. Great. Okay, Simon, if you could. Oh, it still plays during the uh, enemy phase, or like during the animations. Okay, that's nice. All right, Leon, can you? Let's see. I think we need to use the battle axe here. Okay, please dodge. If not, can you get a soul, please, Leon? Nice dodge. Okay, nice. He managed to clear out one of the first monster. All right. So next up, wait, did I use the Juna fruits? Oh yeah, I did. I used it on Nestor. Okay, good. Nestor. Okay, let's use a short spear. Please hit both of these. Damn it. Okay, he had one. Man, he would have killed both of. Them. He would have killed it if he hit both of those. But say All right. So Steven, nice. He one shots this guy with the short spear. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so far so good. We've cleared out the starting monsters. We just have to make sure we keep the fragile units like away from here. So like mages, I need to like, I need to be careful with them. Damien, I know for a fact can take a hit from these fuckers though. So I'll leave, let him like join in on the action. Hmm. Penny as well. I'll keep the hermit. I'll keep these, like these guys need to like stay away. They cannot take the monsters. Okay, let's see how we do. Okay, it's still placed during the enemy phase. Okay, this guy goes for Magnus. Ow. Okay, these guys don't have poison. They don't have like poisonous like weapons. Oh, Magnus, he's so close to killing that guy. Okay, this guy goes for Penny. I don't know. Oh no, he got Bane. I think he got Bane. Oh, oh. oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. But no one else can hit Penny. That's a plus, I feel. True. It's weird how she can't crit these monsters, though, since they have low luck. That, that is odd, actually. I mean, I know that light magic is known for its crit. Like, they have low luck. Like, Penny is Penny, who has highest luck. It's it's weird. Okay, nice job, Steven. Oh, nice. Wonderful. Okay. I love it. It's just like... Just flips a little bit. I know, I love the twirl of the lance. I don't... I think that... Does Efren do that in his crit animation? I cannot remember. Does who? Ephraim. Like, twirl his yes, lance. He yes, he does. Okay. No, the... the oh, nice. Taken, like, directly out of Elwoods, I believe. Yeah, it looks so Damn. cool. All right, nice. We managed to clear out cool. most of the Bane Elwood monsters. Elwood is a very good enemy. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, Elwood. Ephraim. is a very good enemy. Elwood, I don't think Paul... Is... I like it. I like Elwood's animations, too. They're pretty neat. I do like his, um, his, uh, promoted animations. I like his normal animations, too. Like, the little, like... <laughs> I do like his cram. Like, yeah, I like his cram mission as a um as a lord. 
I just like them all. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I I enjoy them. All right, so now we... This, this sparks joy in me. All right, so we have the Strigoi coming in, and with their marvelous pursuit skill, we gotta love it. The, the... <laughs> Excuse me, what? Did you say the Strigoi? Why, how, like, how do you pronounce this? <laughs> I mean, I could just call them Gargoyles, but that's not what they're called. Oh, I, I know, but just, like, I, I just, like, I wasn't looking for a second. I'm just like, please tell me you're making up a word. Please, God. No, no, this is an actual word for some reason. <laughs> this is an actual word in the game. I'm, wait, is that spelled with two eyes? Uh, it has one oh, eye. No. It. no. Oh, okay. I'm pretty okay. sure it's pronounced strigoi. I don't know. I'm, I'm looking this up to see if this is, like, an actual word. I'm pretty sure it's just another form of a gargoyle. In Romanian mythology are troubled spirits that are said to have risen from the grave. They are attributed with the ability to transform into an animal, become invisible, and to gain vitality from the blood of their victims. The Strigoi vampire honestly looks a little bit like the gargoyles. Uh, they got like the kind of like sharp ears and stuff. Um, but they don't have wings. Oh, oh. Hmm. all right. Kinda well, like I mean, I guess they got... They, they, yeah, I guess like, you know, the creator wanted to be creative with the hack, so why not? I mean, there's enough creativity in this hack already, but I feel like... Honestly, yeah, there is. Yeah. It's good. Okay, nice gem, Nestor. Okay, I do need to heal a Penny, though, because she... Oh my god, I cannot believe she survived that. Okay. But luckily, I don't think there's any more Bane monsters. Let me check. Are there any more spiders? Uh... Um... No. no it doesn't seem like it. We have exhausted Bane after turn one. Wonderful. Thank God. Hey, that's scary. She it's, nearly it's died. It's all done. Perfect. All right, so Magnus, can God. he... Yeah, that, that does suck, though. No, he can't. <laughs> Damn it. He very, mu he very much can. All right, but luckily that lets Steven pick up the kill. If he could dodge, it'd be fantastic. Nope, never mind. All right, then these guys are... Okay, they're just Elder Centaur. They're not regular Centaur. Oh, they're... yeah, they have the fucking Fortress Defense. I forgot about that. Mm-hmm. They also have Intimidate, which... Okay. Huh. Exordium. I know I'm wasting it, but you know what? Fuck it. Um, I mean, you could have used something else. So, I mean, yeah, I will, I will call you off that. I will absolutely do that. All right. Uh, Leon. Oh, my God. How about the Gigan Axe? No, he doesn't double with that. Great. Crit? Soul, maybe? Oh, what the hell? 21. Okay, nice. It's okay. He crit and he got soul. All right. Does that heal him up to full? Yes, it does. Okay, nice. That means I can heal a Penny with Damien, and I can move Penny in to get, get provide Demoiselle. Oh, my lord. Extra boost. Okay. Uh, I think I am going to use Fortify here. Because I want, I want to make sure everyone's topped off. I, I just found out something cursed. Um, so somebody just told me that, that like you know, you know the song Sunflower. It was in a fucking Into the Spider Verse. Uh, it's it's a pretty good song. Um, if you listen hard in the background, apparently there's the Minecraft EXP noise. Oh, so God. once we're done recording, I'm absolutely going to look to check that out. Um, I am not. Oh my weird. god, Minecraft! Jesus Christ! <laughs> what? I don't like that game. That's all I'm gonna say. Why do you not like Minecraft? It's just Come not on. like I just don't. I don't like. I just don't find it fun. Why? What do you not find fun about it? Uh, just the whole concept of it. I don't know. I just don't find it fun. I mean, I can definitely. And I, I mean, I mean, I can definitely see other people having fun. I just can't see myself having fun in the game. That's fair. I mean, like, for instance, Stardew Valley, like, I I played it a bit. I don't know. Like, I, I it's probably just, like, because I've not gotten far enough into it. Like, I've only done a few days. Oh, my just, sister like, is addicted to that game, just like how she's addicted to Wizard 101. Oh, I fucking love Wizard 101. Oh, really? I just wish, yes. And now that, like, my debit card came in the mail, I can spend... <laughs> I could spend a hundred more dollars. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do it. Well, okay, <laughs> I might spend some money to unlock some areas. <laughs> I'm I'm not gonna go crazy with it because even though I have like two jobs right now, I also have like other stuff I want to spend money on and also like save money on. 
Um, but no, what you call it? Um, like for instance, I have to buy a lot of people like Christmas gifts mm -hmm. and like birthday gifts and stuff, and it's like, uh, as you know, um, but it's like I'm going to essentially buy those first and then see like. All right, what do I have left to spend on me and like to save? Because like, I don't want to waste. Because I have like, I have like a thousand dollars in there right now. Jesus and, Christ! Well, yeah, because like I put a lot of money that I got uh, from working and from saving up. Um. So, I'm probably gonna put like another three hundred in there tomorrow from like you say uh, it so casually <laughs> because that's what i've like this is like all the money i've like saved on like being paid for like working two jobs literally um honestly i'm surprised i'm making this money while like now having two days off uh a week which is good what? because tomorrow i'm gonna have like the next two days are gonna be off for me which is gonna be amazing huh? i'm gonna sleep the fuck in i'm <laughs> i'm not doing anything except like going to the bank but aside from huh. that it's like I, I am like going to stay far away from the places I work, because I am terrified of them saying like, "Oh, can you come help for a few hours?" Like, mm. Yeah, that does that used to happen with me when I was uh, when I got my first job. I remember that because like because the problem. Oh no, go ahead. It's like because they like they like the jobs that I was working at. They really needed help at the time, and like my dad, I remember that when I first got my job, like. He said, Madison, I noticed that you've been busting your ass a lot working at your first job. And I just want to say, welcome to life. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. That is that is essentially what I've been told. But mm -hmm. also, good job. So, I take that. Um, but no, it's like I... Because, obviously, like the Italian place I'm working at, Teresa's, uh, like they just opened up like two weeks ago. Like about, about two weeks ago. Yeah, roughly. Yeah, um, yeah essentially. So it's like they're still like, you know, like they need some help a decent amount of time. Um, and also like they hired another person to work there on like days I'm not there, but she's also like pretty inconsistent. So it's like, they say like, yeah, we might need you more. I'm like, all right, cool. Um, and realistically what I'll do if they need me more days is I'm just going to like not work, just me work at the pharmacy anymore. Cause they're all very nice people. Um, and like the job is getting easier because yeah. like today shit got a lot easier than like it was last time because you were working at the pharmacy like... today right yes okay uh yeah today was my second day uh the last time i worked there was thursday and today i got paid for uh for working that thursday oh um but yeah essentially it's like uh I don't want to because both of them need like a decent amount of health. I mean, health. Oh, two thirty threes. Wow. Okay. Wait, does FDA have true hit? No. Oh. Well. I'm not ready yet. I don't think we were either. <laughs> <laughs> oh god oh my god so do we reset for her hmm. it's it's only turn two we can do this again and it is penny well going to be turn three but oh. that's besides the point oh god but oh, I oh, oh okay that so. that okay that didn't hit all right a 70 didn't hit great Oh, no. Well, you got hit by 233s. The RN, like, had to burn something, you know? No, please don't. Okay. Yeah, we're... <laughs> we... It's time... it's time to go. No, no. It's I'm not losing go. Damien. I... He has Hellfire, okay? And Gentle Homie. And a Darren. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. No! <laughs> she needs to do something. I, I, I accidentally <laughs> end the turn. Oh, God. We get to see everyone else die. This is neat. Uh, maybe oh, not. maybe not. Okay, bye, Crystal. Um, oh, bye, Carmen. Bye, Carmen. Oh, she mentions Travis and her death card. <laughs> oh, that's neat. Oh, wait, were they in Travis like a thing? I think they were engaged, actually. Like, the story oh, says neat. it. Okay. That's yeah. cool. All right, only, only like two people died. Could have been worse. Okay. 
brother and sister. I I promised I wasn't gonna make an incest joke. I'm not gonna do it. I know this is an FE8 hack, but I'm still not gonna do it. Don't please. All right. <laughs> Do we have enough of that in FE8? <laughs> okay. So continue what you were saying. Sorry before uh, oh, that that happened. No, no, no. It's okay. Now I'm just now I'm just thinking like, why does Fire Emblem have so much incest? Like shit. I mean, well, it has like okay. how many games? To, like, to be to be fair, it's not as many games as people say it is. Like it's like a lot of people are like man, fire I'm so fucking sensuous. It's like what, like really, two? It's it's FE8. FE4. It's, 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 ma it's mainly FE4. That's the biggest like that's the problem child of this. It's like it's it's hardcore in sense. Like it is literally a gameplay mechanic. Like your units get stronger if you keep the bloodline pure, and Darwin has proved to us. That, that is not the case but you know what we get holy weapons out of it they are very good so i don't think it matters um and obviously in fe8 it's like the <laughs> from america incest jokes yeah they're really funny um which is why i've stopped doing them um but yeah it's like they have gotten old a little i mean unless they're still good but it, it depends it's just they they have been overused a bit um and not really three houses. Like some people will say, like, oh, like Dimitri and Elgard are incestuous because no, Dimitri, had, because Dimitri had a crush on his stepsister. But that's not right. incest. That's not incest. It's 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 not because like what happens is like all right. Number one, they were like fucking like babies. They were like 12, 13. They were. And I think they were ten. They, eh, they were like around. Well, it was like no, yeah, I think they were around like ten. So it's like. They, they like, eh. And plus, he didn't know that like she was his stepsister, I think, and I don't think she knew either. Um, so honestly, it's it's eh. Um, and I mean, I would say that they definitely do not return these feelings later on. Like it, their feelings are definitely lost. Oh yeah, um, definitely, they show that. Yeah, because like for starters, they both know that they're like, step siblings, even though like their parents are dead. Um. But it's like, yeah, like, you know, you're still step-siblings. Um, and then, you know, like, they try and kill each other, so... Eh... I mean, listen. <laughs> it's really just those two. But it is still surprising, like, how much incest they could fit into one game. Because the fact that, like, FE4 is, like, so deeply rooted in incest that the main conflict, as well as, like, the main heroes, are built on incest like well optionally but most people tend to like see like oh glowing circles glowing circles match yeah sure um so you know i mean like i mean i know that like claude and like dimitri are like distant cousins in a sense i mean all the fucking elites are like distant cousins i guess it's kind of hard so, to explain it's don't fucking bother. It's just like, all right, you're you're all you're all cousins, sure. You're like seventh cousins, like tw three times removed. It's like, all right, it it doesn't matter. It's it's the point where, listen, if Alabama doesn't care about it, <laughs> you're fine. We we live in like medievalish society. It, fucking arranged marriages are still a thing. I don't think they care. <laughs> It's it's really okay. it's it's fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's really just FE4 is the main one. FE8's there in the background, but eh, you know, could be worse. Mm -hmm. You know. Oh wait, wait! How can I forget? Fates. Because oh yeah, that's can, right. Yeah, you can literally fuck. Uh, I don't remember if Azura is your cousin or your sister. I don't. I think she's your uh, like cousin. I think. I believe so. Uh, because like Lilith is your sister, is it? No, wait. Mm. Well, because Lilith is also Anakos' child, right? I think well, so. Well, because all right, because Corn is like the good part of Anakos, his kid, and like Lilith is like the evil part of it, like the dragon part of Anakos. Um. Because, you know, uh, I watched the DLC. Um, yeah. And it's like, 
Yeah, and it's like it's it's neat, I guess. Um, but essentially, it's like uh, I right. I didn't like it. Fair, but essentially, it explains why uh, a Wayne, Severa, and Inigo are Odin, Selena, and Laszlo. Yeah, yeah. And it gives a bit more context on Anankos, and it's like, oh, like he used to be a good guy. That's cool. Um. Because, you know, they talk a little bit about, like, oh, the silent dragon, he was betrayed, everybody forgot him. Oh, uh, sure. Tragic. <laughs> um, that's neat. Cool. Now he's a giant floating eye. Sure. <laughs> um, now he's a mask. But, yeah, it's like, it gives a bit more, uh, context and, like, character to a ghost, which is neat. Um, I would say it's, it's welcome. I don't know why you got and like fucking thirty dollars for it, but it's neat. No, you can buy it separately. Um, you don't have to like buy the whole DLC. It's not like oh, it's really? no, it's not like three houses. Oh, how much was it actually? Three houses? No, 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 no. The the Anankos DLC. Uh, I think it was like five bucks or so. Oh, that's not too bad. Still yeah, though, you get so like... why lock it behind? Like that's important information that's locked behind DLC. Yeah, that's. Well, that's like still my main problem with it. It's like, all right, this is stuff that should have been in the main game, mm -hmm. because you can okay, you can infer with like Odin, Selena, Laszlo. That's like, yeah, they're they're the Awakening kids, which would also make you think like, all right, well, Cordelia, uh, Tharja, and Gaius Ooh, are. Oh, Simon's level twenty. Ooh, nice. What does he get? Oh, two hit points. Ooh, nice. All right, Cap. Uh, did he? Did he cap anything? Skill. He skill. That's neat. Yeah. Oh my god, that is amazing. He's doing pretty good. So all that's left is Carmen and Nestor. Hmm. Neat. But, yeah, anyway, it's like, uh, whatchamacallit, it's like, then you would think, I guess, like, oh yeah, Kildori, Rajad, uh, Dasugi, or like, the other fucking people. Well, they're not they're exactly, not. Ch well, they're not children, because, you know, they are, um, they're, oh, yeah. no, no, they're not they're, actually, they're like, no, they're like the parents. Yeah. But well, they're they're the children in Fates. Like the only the reason that an awakening. The only but, reason that they picked those characters was because they were the most popular characters in um, in, that were chosen from Awakening. So they thought to bring yeah. them, make them cameo appearances in Fates. True. Actually, hold on. Weren't they um? Weren't they like voted most popular yeah. by like a fucking like a swimsuit competition or some shit? Yeah. Like the yeah, they, DLC? Yeah, they appeared in the Awakening DLC and they uh, were both, and they, you know, got those models made. But the thing is, That's Krom doesn't shit. appear and neither does Lucina. Um, well, Krom does appear in like, I think DLC. Because like- Yeah, he, he does. does. No, he like, does. He, he is he is in the game as is like Robin. Um, I think Lucina appears as well as like a battle. I don't know. Uh, no, the ones that appears about is Robin, Lucina, Ike, and, um, Mark. That's what I just said. Lucina oh. appears as a battle. Oh. But uh, yeah, but she doesn't appear in like her own like type of DLC. But no. but there is a DLC where Krom, Frederick, and Lissa appear in DLC as, you this, know this I remember, yeah. As the dreams. like I believe it was chapter two that they like on the map you play on from Awakening. Yes, actually, I believe so. Yeah. Um, it is, that is really cool though, that they were able to recreate the maps. That is yeah. a, that was actually my fun that was actually my my best part about Fates is that they remade maps from past games, like Alencia's Gambit. Yeah, that was pretty cool. And the um, let's see, the um, the Arcanea map from Fire Emblem One with the ballistas. Uh, which one are you talking about? The um, the map where like Astrum like fights you, with the ballistas. Oh, fuck, I can't remember it. They remade that map, and then they also remade a map that was in um, Gaiden with the witches. Do you mean Nui Baba's abode? No, that wasn't it. No, it's a map that's around there though. Um, fuck, I I don't remember. It's hard to explain. I understand. It's it's okay. No, oh wait, are you talking about like the one with like one of Sonya's sisters? I don't know if she was on that map though. That's the thing. Uh, I'm not sure because I know there was a lot of witches there. Yeah. Um, eh, I, I don't know. A lot, you can honestly, like, a lot of guide maps, like, eh, they're forgettable. Mm -hmm. Because there's, well, all right, that's a lie, because a lot of them are a pain in the ass, which makes them very not forgettable. <laughs> um, but, 
No, it's like, uh, whatchamacallit? Because, what the fuck is it? It's like, I, I remember a decent amount of the guide maps, and, well, the Echoes maps, I would say, because I don't remember a lot from guide at yeah. this point. It's been a minute. Um, and honestly, I would like, I'd rather just play Echoes. So it's like, I'm, I'm probably not going to play Gaiden again, unless I'm going on like a huge nostalgia trip, and it's like, let's play every game again, which might happen, uh, but I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's like, uh, I remember like the fucking, like the desert map. At, well, like, I'm, I'm talking about like the desert fortress map. Okay, well, there's a few of those. I'm talking about like the one with like all the archers in it. Yeah. Oh like, my archers, god. Like, yeah, that one. That one. That's sucks. a slog fest. It sucks ass. It's the worst. Um, no, it fucking sucks. And I'll say that like, no matter who you choose, whether it's Sonya or Dean, either way, like fighting them fucking blows. Like, Sonya, I think it's worse because she's got like a bunch of witches on her side. Yeah, and they can just teleport. Um, while with Dean, it's like, oh. alright, well, you have, oh nice, but it's like, you have like Valbar, who can tank a lot of the sword units. Oh it's like, god. That's neat. Luna. Oh, fuck. Um, but yeah, it's like, yeah, Valbar, you have like a bunch of mages to like deal with them at, uh, like, ranges from far away, but they can't counterattack. The problem is, like, always gonna be their high speed, and therefore, like, because Echoes is definitely not known for their hit rates in general. Um, that kind of, like, increases it. But it's like, eh, you know. Dean is a pain in the ass, though, sometimes, because, like, I mean, you get the Brave Sword earlier, which is neat. Yeah. And you can give that to, like, Conway or some shit. Um, and I don't know, like, both of them are, like, pretty decent uh the only reason why i tend to recruit sonya over dean well actually no because i mean i tend to recruit sonya over dean because i just find her better than dean but i also think that dean is very serviceable because either way like you get a lot of mages in Soka's rap but you also get a lot of reminders and shit and like mercenaries in Selka's route as well because there's Saber, there's fucking Kamui, there's possibly Atlas. Like, you get a couple. And also, if you, like, bring uh, Cliff and or Fey, make one of that, like, that's possibly two more. But also, don't don't bring Cliff and Fey. <laughs> like, bring, bring them in arms route. Um, because, number one, you won't really get any supports from, like, Selka's group with Cliff and Fey. Um... So it's like, eh, don't do that. Um, and also, Arm kind of needs the help. Oh, yeah, and, definitely. Yeah, like, his maps tend to be, like, bigger and just, like, more, like, bombastic and shit. And, I mean, I guess they tend to be harder because it's, like, technically they come later in the game for the most part. Um, because, like, with Selica's maps, um, like, obviously, like, her maps end earlier than, like, Arm's maps do before, like, they merge together towards the end um because it's like you know Selica goes she goes until fucking like she gets captured or gives herself up at the Tower of Duma which is so stupid I, it's fucking retarded but I don't know I mean it's dumb but it also fits her character because she wants there to be a peaceful end to things She's very low self-esteem for herself and doesn't care about her life whatsoever as long as she can make other people happy and, you know, protect people that she cares about. Yeah. And yeah. that, like, that is her character because, like, she grew up in an orphanage, grew up into the priesthood, um, was thrust with, like, all the responsibility of, like, hey, you're a princess, now you're a queen, I guess. Um, so it's, like, just being alive is like all that people expect from her not that like yeah i'm gonna go save a god or at least try to yeah. um all right and you know she fails brutally uh that but it's like you know she's trying to like show her worth because she i guess she's an interesting character but she is a character that like i don't think a lot of people like because of the stupid things she does but that's because it's it's like the narrative perspective of like 
the outsider knowing more than the characters. And it's a good way of doing it. Um, so that you can see, like, how a character can have a flawed perspective, but is also validated because of the information that they have, or the information more, that should I say, that, we, that they don't have, that we do have. Therefore, we see what's wrong with it while they don't. And that is a good way of doing it, except it'll also piss people off, because it's like, oh, why would you do that? But, I mean, those people aren't really thinking. Yeah. Or, I guess, oh, thinking clearly. Nestor is oh. capped. Oh, again. <laughs> oh, hit points being low. Oh, wait, did he cap speed in there, I just think? Did not I think, let's see. Just, also, holy shit, I was looking away for like five minutes and the whole map is cleared. Nope, he oh, didn't cap no. speed, but he did get a... He did cap power. That's yeah. Nice. Oh, wait, did... Oh. All right, so now we are now fighting the Onyx Dragoon, a.k.a. Travis. So, fuck. let's see. Uh, oh, my God. Yeah, fuck. Really? Just use, like, a lot of S-rank weapons. Let's yeah, see. It does... Wait, oh, my... Penny does... Wait a minute. Wait, wait. Hold on. Oh, no, no. He does have... He does have two range. All right. Oh right. my god, he... T two rounds... Yeah, he does. Um, wait a minute. Okay, so let's see. Who does the most damage here? Okay, now hear me out. Oh, wait, I have an idea. Oh my god, you're not gonna use Damien, are you? Damien, Helmet, Gloucester for the win. Oh my fucking god. Wait a minute, where is Wait, it? why did Penny have the power rock? <laughs> because she does... She has really low power, I have to admit. No, she does. Her, her big thing... Like, is like 19, and she has a growth rate of 35. I think. I mean, honestly, with how she started, I'd say it's pretty decent. She was one like, of my first. She was one of my first promoted units. I know. I think she was the first. She, it's like from the start, it's like, oh, all that avoid. I see you. All right, so we have the power relic, the fire element, and the ultra relic. Jesus fuck! I was like, oh, put it on a Darren. Fuck it, put it on a Damien. Sure. Apparently, he does even better. All right, so let's see how he does. Da do you like the black knight theme yeah that's neat oh he has so if he crits he's just fucking dead nope he's not but i mean he can finish it off next turn and yep. he won't die or hey darren can finish it well i mean everyone is capped or he can finish it right carmen now. uh no no, <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> can let's see can I mean, it doesn't really matter. Oh my god, at he this gets point, double. Because everybody's capped. But yeah, he's fast. Did you try and use the gig tax on him? No. Yeah, let me see. Okay, so he has 27. He, him a fuck ton. he gets weighed down by 8 points, so that puts him down to 19. Yes, oh, he's man. absolutely going to get double. Oh, wait, and now he has vantage plus. Yes. Wait, did... I don't think he proc that last, did he? Wait. No, I think he did. No, because. No, I... he didn't. No, no Damien didn't. went first, and then. I think, no, he didn't. No, what the fuck? I think Vanish Plus is bugged because he didn't go first that time. Odd, but he didn't crit. So, oh wait, no, it's not that it. It's not that Seth's crit to zero. I think it actually would have like negated his attack if he crit. But the thing is that he didn't negate his crit and he didn't go first though. I think this no, is just bugged. No, 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 no. I think that what it is is that with the negate crits part, it's not like. It negates your ability to crit. I think it does zero damage. Oh, if you okay. Crit. But still, he didn't go first though. Yeah, that that is up. Yeah, so I think it's just bugged in a way though. It might be. All right. Well, if he crits, mm -hmm. we should. Oh wait, re out. relief. Damn it. Oh. All right. He doesn't die in one turn. He does not too. Mm. This does mean that we can get in conversation with Vaderon though. So oh wait, if we crit, actually, we'll kill him. No. No. No, we're not because. It negates credits. All right, let's get the conversation with the Darren. Oh, wonderful. First up, let me just trail the relics back. Oh, that's fair. So Penny with the power relic. Uh, oh, wait. Damien can wield physic now. Yes. Oh, nice. Oh, damn. He can trade more than once? Oh. Yeah, you can trade more than once in this game. Oh, man. I didn't know that. Nice. It's really handy. I love it. Yeah, it is very nice. All right. That classic Thracia trade. And that is... End game two finished in sixteen turns. Oh, that's not bad. Though. I'm pretty sure we could have finished more if we had like a warp staff. Probably. Um, I guess just use exordium. It, it's it's end game. Travis, I know you're still in there. 
Don't stop fighting in the darkness. It's almost over. Just stop. Dope. Dead. Alright, there we go. Ouchies. Quick, get that armor off of Travis. I want to see him as, as himself one last time. On it, lady. Travis, brother, can you hear me? Unclove my brother at once. It's me, a Darren. Sister, it's is that you? That yes, Travis, it's me. It's you have no idea how happy I am. You've grown up so much while I haven't aged today. Magic's funny, isn't it? I can't imagine how hard these 11 years have been for you. I'm so, so sorry. Those wounds aren't lethal. Adarin, get a healer. We can still save Travis. No, don't. But Prince Travis, to this world, I've been dead for 11 years. I can't just come back and act like nothing happened. Besides, the spire has been activated with its full power. You need to finish this. You can't waste time worrying about me. What? Please, no. I can't lose you twice, brother. I won't. I'm so sorry I have to put you through this again, sister. But what's necessary is necessary. Enough of this, my lord. I'm, all, I'm the one who left you to die, and I won't make such a mistake again. Donovan, I forgive you. I know you had no other option. This is what I have to do. Travis, my son. Father. Yeah, your dad's Right, here too. he's here too. I forgot about that. Yeah, whoops. You're back. You're really back. I'm sorry, father. I must have really disappointed you, huh? Travis, I could never be disappointed in you. You don't need to die again. Please, come back with us. I'm so sorry. My mind is made up. Then, this is goodbye, son. Goodbye, dad. G goodbye, brother. Darren, my sister. Deep down inside, where I was still in control, I always wanted to see how you would grow up. You have exceeded all my high expectations. I'm so proud of you, Darren. Don't leave me, brother. Please, don't leave me again. It'll be okay, sister. Don't cry. You gave me a mercy I only dreamed of. Darren, I'm glad you're the last person I see. In this world, thank you. B brother? N no, don't. Please don't. Brother! Womp womp. <laughs> Travis! Womp. It's just this fucking... Everybody's crying. It's just, he's rolling. You just hear from the back. No, 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 no. You just hear, you just hear someone, just like, just, just. Uh. <laughs> like, oh can we take a rest? I'm tired from walking. Yeah, no, no. You just hear when someone like crack up. <laughs> you hear someone crack open a can or a bag of chips in the background. It's like, who's over here? Sorry. I packed, I packed lunch. Travis, my son. Adarin, we have to respect his wishes. We need to finish Celia. And this time, she will not leave the spire alive. What Th were you planning on doing before this? This will be our final battle. As one who believes in mercy, I agree that Celia must be disposed of. I've got your back. I'm sure Travis would have liked that. Celia, your time is up. As one who agrees in mercy, as one as one who <laughs> believes in mercy, I do agree. We need to kill the shit out of her. Yeah. End game three. Apex of destine. Destine. Eh, there is destiny. Apex of destiny. Yeah. Celia, no more Should games. We, we finished this. Ice dragons. Now. I'd be happy to comply, milady, but it's already too late for you. Take a look on top of the stairs. Oh, uh -oh. fuck. And Spartans. Uh oh, stupid. Are those Spartans? No. We're too late. <laughs> like, fuck the ice dragons. The Spartans are what I'm worried about. The day of my ascension has come. You will not stop me. In fact, I'll give you a new offer. Fight your way past the ice dragons, and I'll let you have one more chance to fight me. But ice dragons are the fiercest opponents sealed here. No doubt you will surely die. Ha ha ha. We will not let these dragons stop us. We won't let anything stop us. Your end has come. Let's see how true those words ring. Let's settle this. Oh, fuck. Welp, guess we gotta do this now. 
All right. Units do we get extra? We get all, all the units. And, what the hell? There's monsters coming from the back. Hey, neat. I guess. So let's take a look at these. Yep, they're ice dragons, and they have fortress res. Thirty-five res, and like twenty-four power. And two luck. Uh, and they well, get fierce stance, so they essentially have thirty attack on uh, if, when I attack them. Well, what are their weapons actually? Uh, their weapons are ice breath. Ice breath, fifteen. Oh, so they have thirty-nine. And they're one two damage. range. They're one two oh. range, and they weigh one. Yet they have twenty-five con. But they have four move. Uh, they only have four move. This is true. And then the spark. Oh, are those like actually the? Uh, is that actually like? the sprite that they used for Ninian or Dragon Form in FE7? I Cause... no, I don't think so, because I do believe, remember, they were, like, really colored red. By the way, oh. if also, I gotta say, though, Creator, if you're gonna make them Ice Dragons, at least make their portrait look a little bit different. I, well, to be fair, like, probably making those portraits is kind of hard. No, I understand. No, no, I understand that, but at least, like, give them something else in this. So I we have, yeah. we have Celia. I think she's weaker than last time. Like, I don't think she had this many skills. Uh, oh no! Are you sure? She has the Ultra Relic in Ragnarok. She had Ragnarok before, but now she has the Ultra Relic. Though yeah. Ragnarok weighs her down by nine, so she essentially has nineteen speed. Uh, what does she have as skills? Actually, she, Wait, ha she has she has knee, Nihil, Watchful, Watchful. even even boring. rhythm, even rhythm. So I gotta uh, initiate her on odd turns and hex. Uh, wonderful, and hex. All right. But so only adjacent mean, enemies, so Hex is kind of like, I, like, is that? Like, all right, well, I guess no physical, except yes, yeah, the, because, eh. <laughs> or just do it from two right. And then the, the Spartans, they have quick repose, and they also have sturdy stance. Damn. I have to say, they though, quick I, repose, that'd be bad. yeah, I have to say, though, I do like how sturdy stance, how they, the, they've made the stance goes from heroes into the hacks, though. I do like that. Yeah, that is neat. The thing is, I don't think I have anyone with this with stance skills though. Uh, I guess I have them with the base. I have any people with the blow skills, but not the. Oh yeah, a decent amount of people. Yeah. Uh. Um. No, actually, I don't have anyone with. with well, a... nobody has like stance skills, but like, uh, Leon has like strong repose or something. Yeah. So, like... did, wait, did any? Wait, did any of my guys come with? Oh no, Phineas came with a stance skill. He came with Swift. Ah, uh, Swift stance. Yeah, you speed and resistance on a paladin. I love that. I mean, to be fair, he has 19 res as a paladin. So... Okay, you you got a point. And... Not the worst thing in the world. Uh, it's, yeah, it's just Phineas. Wait, if, <laughs> Infiltrator. If, if in two spaces of two or more enemies gain plus three damage, plus three That's kind of cool. Yeah, too bad, I... he, too bad he joined so late that I didn't feel like using him. That's fair. Okay, so let us pick and choose our units. Okay, we All picked right. and choose our units. All right, so next... Okay. So, we need to use the Hummer and Staff, I feel, for the final chapter. <laughs> but what? What are we using it on? I honestly think either Exordium or Extinction. Uh, what's Exordium at? Exordium, uh, it's at 14 out of 30. Extinction's at 10 out of 4, 30. I'd say that Darren and Nestor both use like their those two like pretty damn frequently. Uh, but eh, I don't know. Um, who do you think is going to be fighting dragons more? Uh, I honestly think uh, <laughs> I honestly think a Darren because extinction isn't effective against like the monsters. Was, I think the dragons are. It, I think they class I mean, classify as like I, you know as monsters. Yeah, I don't know. I think um, so. Eh, maybe. Uh, like well, they are, way, they're dragons awoken from the spire of darkness. If they're not effective against light magic, then what the fuck are these things? I guess, but I am I... curious to see what their model is though. If they just reuse the Draco zombie, I'm gonna be a little bit disappointed. Oh no, I don't think so. I because I've seen like ice dragon mo uh, no! models. No, like... <laughs> not Bane. Oh, yeah. Stop with the Bane already, please. Nope, everyone there is Bane. Got to kill him this turn. Oh my or god. Else. So I gotta kill um... these fuckers when they first appear. Yeah, but no, I think that because I remember in Alibian Nights they had a they had an ice dragon uh, sprite for Nils. Oh, they did. And it was actually yeah. It was oh, actually I didn't really get that good. far in Alibian Nights though. That's the thing. Oh yeah, no, it's in Zephyr's Path, but no, it was. Oh, it was that super explains good. it. I didn't play Zephyr's Path. I only paid Car Carell's and Elliewood's, and that's it. Honestly, all of them are pretty good. 
Um, I've heard that Raven, they are. Yeah, Ravens was cool. Um, he fucking beefs it. Um, <laughs> uh, oh my god. Zephyrs is cool. I think Ravens Steel- was actually the first one I did because, you know, I was a real, like, you know, fanboy for him at the time. Fair enough. Well, he's cool. I dig him. Um, doesn't have a lot of defensive stats, but he's neat. Yeah. Um, um, his hero spread's cool. But, no, yeah, and Zephyrs, like, he just killed the shit out of Nils. Uh, and, okay. Yeah. All right. Um, no, it's cool to see Nils again, though. All right. Actually doing something. Oh, wait, we still have Holy Light. Jesus Christ. Yes. Yes, we do. Do you think we should have learned that, actually? Mm, I mean... Let me see. This how has... Often, how often is Penny going to be floating? True. She 18 my 100 hit compared to 16 my and 90 hit. Yes, but, but it also gives her plus four to all stats. Yeah, so I know. I know. Stuff. I'm just like, I'm just like thinking. Oh yeah, no, of course. Uh, do I have another short axe? Oh, I do. I still have a. Okay, get rid of the hammer. I'm not fighting any more armor knights. <laughs> the ice ice dragons count as armor. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say though, I am honestly surprised I was able to make it to the tower with all this with with the amount of weaponry I have because I'm actually running low on lances for my guys. Because you have like a thousand lancers. In terms of short lances, uh, short spears, I have a ton though. I have like, I have like so much junk in the combo. It's ridiculous. Fair. No, but seriously, like, look at the amount of lancers you have. Like, you have Nestor. You have uh, fucking. I have. Steven, let, let's see. You I have ha- Magnus. You have. Uh, Simon. Simon. Um, I had Roderick. You had him. Um, yeah, I. It does okay. suck that he. I'm not using him anymore though. I hate that. But. Yeah. But, but it's like most of the enemies here are magic based. Like, I Honestly, haven't. Fi- most, that's the same with most of your units. They tend to be magic based. Yeah, I mean, let's see. We have one, two, three, four, five, like six. Like nearly half. My half of my cast is magic units. Yeah, and the other half is like either lance, and there's like one sword, <laughs> and like axe, and that's the same. Uh, well, well, I mean, and one bow. Well, we have two actually. Yes, but okay, that's fair. We'll but see. again, do you honestly think that Simon is going to be using like the S rank weapons? You or know, like be as good of swords and axes. Honestly, wait, did he honest? cap? No, he didn't cap any of his weapon ranks. That sucks. No, because we got him like two chapters ago. <laughs> wait, hang on a second. You know what I'm going to do, Alex? Hmm? Wow, oh my God. We're giving him the silver blade. Maybe it can do oh. something. I also have the Hoplin Guard just in case uh, someone needs it. Oh, no, that's fine. Um, I bought these swords and never used them. <laughs> yeah, why? I don't know. They're just... I think you didn't they... have any sword users. Oh, yeah, that's right. I didn't... Like, Leon, I yeah. picked up... And you bought all these swords. I also have the member card. I don't know why I still have some of this stuff. I don't fucking know. <laughs> and all these physics, so I still haven't used them. I still have torch staffs. Damn, you have 200 inventory space? Fuck. Yeah, because both of the convoy... Like, this is an FEA hack, and when you get Erica and Ephraim, they both, their convoy converges, and you have 200 space. Oh, damn, that is wild. The thing is, I got the convoy, like, you know, to, in Chapter 1, because I guess some um, Travis counted as a main lord, so he had 100 space, and then when he died, Adarin got that extra 100 space, so I got 200 effectively. Damn. From the start, that is like actually really good. Yeah. Because like, yeah, sometimes that can be a problem with mm-hmm. like uh, inventory space. Oh my god, I think it's a bitch in every seven though, because I think you only have a hundred. Yeah, I know. I'm playing it right now, and I'm like I am on like ninety something because uh, in four fanged offense, I got to like the hundred space. It's like fuck. <laughs> um, and of course, it's like just before. Um, oh yeah, and I did the mind glitch on Vida and everything. Oh obviously. great! Oh nice. <laughs> Yeah, of course. All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, join us next time for the final battle and for my soundboard because I'm going to bring it this time. Nice. Until next time, take care of yourselves and have yourselves a damn good one. See you in the next part. Bye. Later. <laughs>